What is good everybody? Today we have a very interesting video, something that I've wanted to do for a little while now and a video that I've wanted to make on the channel for a little while and it's pretty much going to be how to start collecting WWE action figures or how to start a WWE action figure collection. What I would do personally, how I would go about it, given the experience that I've had over my entire lifetime and especially getting into the modern WWE action figure or wrestling action figure community and even just, you know, if you're collecting anything really. I mean, this could go for anything, but I mean, it is going to be kind of specific to wrestling, but it doesn't have to be. You could relate this to any sort of collecting. Any, It doesn't really have to even be action figures, I don't think, but we're going to get into it, man. It's a video I've wanted to do on the channel you know, we have people coming in and out of the community all the time. People selling off their collections, new collectors coming in. That's why we get all the damn re-releases, Brad. Mattel knows this. They know that they're reaching out to those new collectors. They can really capitalize on the secondary market or capitalize off of the success of the secondary market. They see damn Rikishi going for $88. I'm like, oh, get some of that. They want a bite of that bread, Brad. So nonetheless, man, we're going to dive into it. How I would personally start collecting today from me to you, Brad. Listen up. And if you have any feedback or any suggestions down in the comment section below, you have any tips and tricks, leave those down in the comment section below for new collectors and hell, even current collectors. Leave, leave a tip for me, damn. So let's say you're scrolling through YouTube. Let's say you're on Instagram. Let's say you're just watching WWE television and you stumble across some sort of thing that inspires you to collect. I know there has to be some sort of inspiration out there. Or hell, maybe you're just out in the aisle. Maybe you're maybe your little brother, your cousin, your nephew, whatever, comes up to you and shows you a video. Or maybe they have their own collection and you pick it up, you're like, holy shish, this Stone Cold looks awesome. I remember Stone Cold, blah, blah, blah. Or maybe you're at Walmart yourself and somebody had to make a choice between the damn ribeye steak and, or the Roman Reigns and they put the Roman Reigns down and they decided to keep the steak. We see it all the time on the toy hunts, man. You'll find random shish all the time. We find figures lay in places. We find, we find damn produce just chilling in the figure aisle. It happens more than it should, honestly. It's always those decisions being made, and it happens pretty damn often. But after your inspiration has been gathered and you're ready to set out on this adventure of action figure collecting, turn away now. You have to set yourself a goal, man. You gotta have a goal, because without a goal, you'll end up like me. Ooh. I'm sorry you had to see that. But you have to have a goal, man. Whatever your goal is, it's really a good baseline to have for your collection, whether it's, you know, a specific era that you want to collect, if it's a specific superstar that you want to collect. Maybe you just want to, I want to buy all the damn John Cena's in the land. That is a good goal to have. Or you just need to have a goal. And that goal is your boundary for your collection so that you don't end up with eight of the same Seth Rollins figure or whatever the hell it is, you know. So you're going to want to have to start with a goal. From that goal, let's just say my goal is, is to collect a, a very awesome Attitude Era collection. My second thing I would do is go after the main characters of the main guys from that collection. So if I'm doing Attitude Era, then therefore I would be going after your Stone Cold Steve Austins, your rocks, different eras of certain characters. So, you know, you want to pick out those specific guys and not only those specific guys, you can go on Google and you can legitimately type in Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite Figure. And it's going to bring up a bunch of results, obviously. You click the Images tab, and then you can scroll through, see figures, you know, which ones they are. It should have a similar title there, so you can find out what the hell the series is, all those different things. You can make your assumptions. And that kind of brings me to point number three, which is going to be do your research, man. Do your research. Make a list of the actual figures that you want. Maybe you want this Ultimate Edition. Maybe you didn't like this specific release. So I'm going to go back and get this release. Or maybe I prefer this release over that release. Or maybe I want the original. Or whatever the case is. You need to do your research. You got to, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to do your research, man. It's kind of part of the deal. Unless you're just buying shish on a whim. You don't really care about that stuff. But you're still going to have to do research at some point, right? I mean, you're going to have to figure out, you know, different things. Or... I mean, I don't know, would would somebody just start collecting and if they wanted to start an Attitude Era collection, would they would they just be like, yeah, I'm collecting Attitude Era, and then they go to the pegs and they just never, ever find anything Attitude Era whatsoever and they just live with that? Or would they, they would do some research, right? I don't think you would start a collection that way. There'd have to be some way that they find their way to the masses of this insane hobby and collecting deal that we have going on here. But kind of brings me to my next point, which is going to be watching reviews. There's a ton of different people 
on YouTube. There's a ton of collections on YouTube you can find just by searching up WWE Action Figure Collection or look up that specific person, Stone Cold Steve Austin Figure Review or Stone Cold Elite or whatever the hell it is, and it should bring up plenty of stuff there for you to research and do your development. I have a whole series on my channel ranking WWE Action Figures. There's a list of a lot of different superstars you can go through and find out which ones are the best or whatever, and I kind of explain, I bring up an image of the figure, talk about the highlights and the lowlights of so. So maybe that'd be something that you're interested in, and I don't even care. You don't even have to watch my videos find that there's plenty of talented people on this on this website that, that make WWE action figure content that you can find that you can actually you know watch their videos and find out what figures there are and all those different things so that is my point number four do your research it kind of goes three and four kind of go together do your research watch reviews it all goes together man you're gonna have to I think making a list and creating a goal kind of go hand in hand as well it just give you have yourself a plan man have a plan so that you don't wander off into the land and then my next thing would be you know go on the secondary market, man. Go to your Ebays of the world. Go to your Mercari's of the world. Go out there and find Shish. Now, there is a specific desert land of activity that we need to get into that kind of plays into this, and that would also touch on a video. That's a video I have to make one day, and it's going to be it's going to be crazy when I make that video, but Facebook groups, man. There are some really interesting Facebook groups out there of WWE action figure collecting, whether it's, you know, that there's collecting groups for all kinds, there's a bunch of different ones, there's some with a, a bunch of members, like, I've, I'm in one that's got like 30, 40,000 people in it, which is kind of crazy, and then there's some that are less, some that are, I don't think there's any more than that, but there are some that are less and things like this, but you never know what the hell you're going to get into on there, man. I mean, Facebook Marketplace, without the collecting, without the WWE in there, is an absolute shish show. Can you imagine WWE figure Facebook groups? I mean, they're crazy, man. You never know what the hell kind of bag you're going to open over there. There is always something interesting happening in there, which again needs to be its own video where we adventure into that land together. But yeah, you can get on the Facebook marketplace, but you got to be aware of the scammers. I would definitely be aware of the scammers. That's why I mentioned it last is because I probably, I don't really buy off Facebook groups unless somebody sends first or something like that, you know? So I would say eBay, Mercari. Now, outside of your secondary markets like an eBay or a Mercari, Ringside Collectibles is the number one online retailer for wrestling action figures. You go over there. The first thing I would do before I go to eBay and Mercari is go over to Ringside and punch in the name of the superstar that you want, and it'll pull up all the options. Maybe they have them, maybe they don't, but at least you checked. And if you do end up buying something from there, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But if you don't want to go over there and purchase something, I completely understand. Go to your eBay and Mercari's. You're going to have to deal with a bunch of unknown shish, but... You know, they some things may be out of stock at ringside, you know? I mean, they may not have the specific figure you're looking for, especially if it's an older figure. It's going to be sold out, or whatever the case is. And there's something that could help you there, but eBay and Mercari, I've found legendary deals. I've found so many good things. You can, you know, you can look up a specific figure. Maybe it's like Elite 8 whatever, or Elite 12 this, or Elite 1 this. You can type in Elite 1 CM Punk, and then you can save the search and tell it to send you notifications whenever somebody uploads and posts one for sale. So if CM Punk Elite One is in the title of, of a listing, it'll send you a notification to your phone. I have I have hit many times off of you know my phone saying, hey, there's literally something with this thing in it, you need to go check it out. Go over there and boom, I found what I wanted for a good price. You can make offers on there. There's lots of different things there. So eBay and Mercari are your best friend as the aftermarket there. And there may be other things. I think there's like offer up, there's there's other places like that, but I'd say eBay and Mercari are my favorite, you know, secondary marketplaces. But Ringside Collectibles is the number one online retailer, you know, for, for wrestling action figures. So that would be where I'd go. But I'm such a moron. I was so focused on the online portion that I forgot about brick and mortar stores, man. Go to Targets, go to Walmarts. There are other stores like Best Buy sells some figures. GameStop sometimes has WWE or wrestling action figures. There are other options besides these online markets that I talked about, obviously. Ringside Collectibles being your number one online retailer, your secondary market market would be eBay or Mercari. You can shop on Walmart.com or Target.com or something like that, but these are places that you need to probably go in the store. Most of the time, they're not having deals. Sometimes that does happen, so be aware of that. Get the email newsletter. Stay aware on social media, but brick and mortar stores are also something you need to look up. Google wrestling figure stores near me. I think, you know, after that, you're pretty set, man. You're ready to go on your adventure as an action figure collector, especially in the wrestling action figure space. Now, while it's not a perfect system by any stretch, I think this is a good layout that you'd like to follow if you want to 
embark on this journey, but I figured this would be a decent little video to put up if you guys were interested in starting a collection, you know, and maybe you can get some tips and tricks in there on how to buy those things. If I'm buying accessories or weapons, I'm going to ringside collectibles because the aftermarket, I know this is kind of a, this is a tip I just thought of at the end here. The aftermarket is weird with anything but figures. So if you're looking for figure parts or you're looking for weapons of any kind, man, people think that it's like $12,000 for a batch of weapons. For one steel chair, people want like $8. Like I'm not, I can go buy a 10 pack at ringside for, for like five, like what, eight bucks or something like that. Like I'm not doing that, man. You throw the discount code on top of there, you can order. I, I might do it the, 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 tomorrow. I might order just $200 worth of weapons. They have those AEW, you know, weapon packs. They have the ultimate TLC packs. There's so much shish that you can get over there, and you don't have to pay an arm and a leg like you can on the secondary market. So that's just something I wanted to mention there. But I think that's it. I think that's my list. I think that's how I would start if I were embarking on a brand new WWE action figure journey. But any, it doesn't even have to be wrestling. Like I said, you could use this exact tips. I mean, ringside's not going to have shoes or ringside's not going to have Marvel Legends or something. But if you wanted to try this with other things, it works. Set a goal, set a list for, for what you want to achieve. Have your boundaries and go for it, man. The most important thing is, you know, have fun. It's not, it's not life or death. It's not that serious. You know, take it easy. I know we're always constantly grab, 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 buy, buy, buy. But at the end of the day, set your own rules for your collection. Have fun with it. And don't beat yourself up over it, man. It's going to be all right. Take a chill pill. I know everything in this day and age is instant gratification and wanting to just, you know, buy, 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 you know, get it in my hands immediately. But it's not the end of the world. Take a breath. And, you know, be patient for these things, man. If you can't find the figure, just settle down, man. Play the long game, as a once wise man once said. But anyways, I think that pretty much wraps up our video for today, man. I appreciate all you guys for watching. I'd love to know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below, as well as leaving me some tips and tricks if you have any ideas, man. I'd greatly appreciate it. But nonetheless, huge shout-out to our Patreon members. Appreciate all those fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support, as always. Appreciate all those fellas over there, man. I love each and every one of you guys, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts, everything down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.